everybody, it's Chris Eads, and our line is Woo Teeny here with another Gay Gamer video podcast. Um, oh, uh, this might be confusing, so uh, here, it's uh, Princess Monica. Okay, I just thought it was really cute. Um, I want to start this week by telling you about a terrible, terrible accident that I had. Um, I, uh, last Saturday evening, was sitting here in the dark. Uh, watching a movie. Um, I sit in the dark so that my hamster will wake up and get some exercise in the wheel, because if the lights come on, he, like, goes and hides and doesn't like the, the light. So I like to leave the light off for a, a couple of hours just so that he gets the chance to, like, run around and be active and get some exercise. Um, but in the dark, I reached out for my glass of wine, and in the dark I misjudged the distance, bumped it with my fingers, and it toppled over. Um, of course, the glass was full, and of course it was red wine, not white. So, it spilled all over the corner of the coffee table, all over the rug beyond, and um, it was a mess. Uh, obviously, my main focus was uh, not, like, not cleaning the rug and getting the red wine stain from keeping it from staining the rug completely, which I did. Vinegar and dish soap, as it turns out. Um, so that actually worked out okay. Um, but on the corner of the coffee table here, I keep a little stack with like a couple of Blu-rays and a couple of games that I'm playing right now, and those got completely splashed. So I wiped down my controller, and then I took, you know, I had to take the little insert, the paper inserts out to, to dry them out and leave them out to dry so that they wouldn't get too wrinkly or stained, because um, that's obnoxious. I didn't play any PlayStation on Sunday, so I didn't actually notice this until the evening of Monday evening. So I went to play my PlayStation, and I pushed the little PlayStation button, and nothing happened. I thought, that's weird. So, I plugged in the USB cable, it didn't charge, didn't light up, didn't do anything. I took the USB cable and I plugged it into the computer to make sure that it was getting power. Still did nothing. No buttons did anything, nothing did anything. And I realized that something had happened and my PlayStation 4 controller had completely shorted out. So, I flipped out and it was weird because, like I said, I only wiped a little bit of wine off of the edge of it. Like, it, it wasn't like it got completely submerged. So I was like, what the hell? Um, but later that evening, I took, I unscrewed and took it apart, and I discovered that um, this one, this screw was kind of rusty, and when I opened it up, the inside of this part of the controller was like there was there was wine inside the controller so it clearly got up into the workings and like literally just like completely shorted it out and I was like what the hell so it sucks because I had to get a new controller and those cost like 60 bucks which sucks um, I checked the GameStop website because I have a GameStop in my neighborhood it's like five blocks away and they didn't have any controllers in stock at that store. Uh, I think they had some used ones, but being GameStop, they're only like, you know, six bucks cheaper, so it's like, what's the point? Um, I might as well spend the full sixty dollars and get a brand new controller that I know is going to work properly. Um, and I tried Amazon, but Amazon these days is a little sketchy for certain things because uh, they have all the different Amazon sellers and everything, so you type in PlayStation 4 controller and you get like a bajillion different things from all these different brands and all these different sellers and it's like different prices and it's just like, what the hell? And I'm like, I want the official Sony controller. Because when I bought that knockoff for my PS3 in the bedroom, that was fine to buy a knockoff because, I mean, a real controller, you're not going to find those anymore anyway because they don't make them. And I don't use it ever, so a knockoff was fine. But this, I wanted the real thing. And I, even when I filtered it to, just to Sony, it still was giving me a lot of confusing stuff. And I said, you know what, forget it, Amazon. And I just went to Best Buy. And at Best Buy, uh, I could, I, they didn't have any new controllers in stock in my 
local Best Buy, um, but I'd have to go all the way to Atlantic Center for that, and that's like a 20-minute walk. So I was like, they said you could pick it up in store on Wednesday, or we could you could order it and free shipping, and we'll deliver it to you tomorrow. And I said, why am I going to go out of my way to go pick it up in a store on Wednesday if you're going to deliver it to me tomorrow? I'll have it that way. Um, it seemed unlikely that they were going to deliver it to me the next day because I was ordering this at like 8 o'clock at night. But what happened was, um, the next morning I got up for work and I had an email that they had sent at like 10 o'clock at night and they were like, hey, we should do your package. And I was like, oh, maybe it will come on Tuesday. That would be great because I really want to play Ghost of Tsushima. Um, unfortunately, I checked the tracking number periodically throughout the day and it did not move from New Jersey. Uh, in fact, FedEx did not pick it up until like overnight, uh, and then went out for delivery Wednesday, and it did show up on Wednesday, and now I have a brand new PlayStation 4 controller so that I can finish Ghost of Tsushima. Um, someone on Twitter did mention, they're like, oh, well, you could just wait a month and then just use the PlayStation 5, unless you didn't get in on a pre-order, and I'm like, well, A, no, I didn't get in on a pre-order, and B... I don't want to spend $600 to buy a new PlayStation when I can spend $60 and just buy a new controller. I think that's fine for now. Because, like I said in my last episode, I'm not planning on getting a PlayStation 5 for a while, probably. So, um, again, $60 versus $600, I'm like, no contest. Also, who knows if I'd be able to find a PlayStation 5 out there. Um, so... Problem solved, and now I can play some more Ghost of Tsushima. And I have been, and it is delightful, and I am very close to the end. Um, because I, again, like last episode, I said I would rather not buy the PlayStation 5 to play Miles Morales, I'll just get the PlayStation 4 version of Miles Morales. Um, and I'm like, oh, I, I have all month to play Tsushima because uh, Miles Morales doesn't come out until November, so I have weeks to play Ghost of Tsushima, so it's fine. But then October's free games for PlayStation Plus came out, and one of them is Vampyr, which I've heard mixed things about, but I was curious enough I'd like to give it a shot. Um, so what I'm going to end up doing probably is part of me wants to stretch Ghost of Tsushima out until Miles Morales, because otherwise I've got to like delete a game, and then I've got to download Vampire, and then I've got to try it, and I'll try it for like a week or two, and then I'll set it aside to play Miles Morales, and then I'll probably never go back to it. Unless it's like really, really good, in which case I would go back to it. Or if it's really, really good, I would just keep playing that and put off Miles Morales, although that seems unlikely, because I really want to play that. Um, but I am getting very close to the end of Ghost of Tsushima, so I'm not sure how much longer I can prolong it. Um, because now I'm getting to the end, and I've, like, I found all of the hot springs, which doesn't get you a trophy, but it does get you a very sexy fundoshi to wear. And I have, this weekend, I found the last, I did the last Shinto shrine, and I have now done all of the side quests for the supporting cast, so I've done all of the additional tales. And, um, I'm basically at the end of the game. Um... I don't know how long the final quests go as you go to defeat the Khan, um, but I can't imagine it's going to take me that long, so I'm not sure I can actually stretch this out into November. Um, we'll see. Um, but uh, it's it's great, and I'm, I, I, I don't want it to end. I'm, I'm rather enjoying it, and I rather enjoy exploring Tsushima and like finding all the things because I would like to go and find I think there's a few more uh, Fox dens I haven't found so I can like Power up that inner shrine just a little bit more and if I can uh, that's something I could do to like postpone Doing the final missions. Um, I don't know how many there are uh, From where I am because now everybody's gathered together and we're getting ready to go defeat the con So I don't know exactly how much is left like, I'm sure there's, like, multiple levels to the, this section where you're going to go defeat the Khan. Um, and I want to be as powered up as I can when I go to defeat the Khan. So, uh, come back next week and um, 
see if I finished it or if I'm prolonging it some more because, you know, I'm a procrastinator. Can't help it. Thanks for listening, watching, whatever, and I'll see you next week. Bye!